How's it going YouTube? Thanks for joining me for another beer review. Today I'm looking at a beer I picked up at Best Damn Beer Shop out in uh, San Diego, California. A beer I've been wanting to try for quite some time. I've heard great, great things. Uh, Matt of Massive Beer Reviews always goes on about how great this beer is, but uh, this is the 2012 vintage of J.W. Lee's Harvest Ale. It's a uh, English Old Ale barley wine, something like that, coming in at 11.5% alcohol by volume. Yeah, heard some awesome stuff about this beer, but I've also heard the uh, 2012 vintage is the weakest of uh, all the uh, vintages, you know. So, um, yeah, <laughs> excited to see uh, what this beer has in store. Let's get it cracked, poured, see how it is. All right, the appearance on J.W. Lee's Harvest Ale. Uh, about a finger of a really fluffy, uh, off-white, slightly tan head. There's tons of uh, alcohol le legs uh, dripping down the glass. Um, yeah, pours a nice, uh, slightly hazy, uh, orange, like deep amber kind of color. Really nice looking uh, old ale. Let's get an aroma. Mm, very, very malty. Tons of caramel, rich uh, toffee caramel stuff like that right away. Almost has like a coppery kind of aroma, yeah, like a copper coin, something like that. But yeah, really rich caramel, a uh, nice amount of like a, a dark fruit in the background, yeah, like a, uh, almost like a chocolate covered raisin kind of aroma. Yeah, that smells fantastic. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful, rich flavors to this one. The mouth feels rich, uh, thick. Um, it's uh, creamy, sticky, but it's not syrupy at all, and I really, really dig that. Um, super drinkable for its strength. Uh, I am getting a nice warmth down the uh, chest there, but n no real uh, alcohol flavor, and I really dig that. Great use of the malts in this one. You get that rich toffee, the caramel, some dark fruit. Yeah, like rich, stretchy caramel throughout, you know. Beautiful uh, brown sugar notes, some... Uh, it almost does have a slight, uh, like, vanilla-y, kind of bourbon-y kind of flavor to it, um, way in the background there. But all in all, really rich beer. It's got, yeah, this uh, metallic kind of twang that really suits the beer, in my opinion. Um, yeah, it almost gives off, like, a copper coin kind of uh, prune kind of vibe, something like that. This nice... Uh, metallic kind of flavor. I don't know really how to explain it, but really beautiful stuff. Uh, you do get a slight like a uh, earthy hop way in the background there. All right, it's a rating on J.W. Lee's Harvest Ale. Um, 2012 vintage. If this is the weakest vintage, I need to try out their uh, older vintages, their newer vintages even, and uh, see how those are. Next time in, I'm in the uh, States, I'll have to try to pick this one up. I hear uh, Thomas Hardy's Ale is fantastic as well. Um, that's one I've always wanted to try. Never got to, but um, yeah. Hopefully I get too soon, but uh, yeah. Awesome, awesome beer. Beautiful, rich, caramelly kind of flavors. Exactly what I want in a old ale. It's not the best old ale I've had, but that being said, absolutely fantastic stuff. As a rating, I go... I think a 90. Like a A-, minus, a strong A-, minus. yeah, 90 rating. Really good stuff. Um... Yeah, awesome. Awesome, awesome beer. If you're a fan of big, rich, malty, uh, caramelly kind of barley wines, pick this one up. Let me know what you think of this beer. Any of um, J.W. Lee's other beers, I hear they've uh, barrel-aged this one in certain uh, different uh, whiskey barrels and stuff like that, and that would be fantastic to try. But, um, yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and until the next time, cheers.